Hey everyone, welcome back to Charlie's vlog number five. So in this week, we're gonna be doing a little bit more hunting, hoping to progress that on a little bit. And we're just starting to interject a stop. Not too often because I don't want to inhibit the hunting. Also, later on in this episode, we're also going to be starting to teach a little bit of left and right, and also some basic back retrieves using my right and my left hand. You ready? Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Good, lad. Ah, good boy, well done. So you were straight onto that. There's a nice breeze coming from this side now. So that really does help with making the dog hunt a little bit better. I'm actually gonna roll it out. I covered his eyes then so he didn't see that go out. It means I can cast him straight onto that side wind. Ready, Charlie? Ready? Good boy, sit. Good boy. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Good boy, well done. So, you can see I've been working on getting him to stop a bit further out. I don't want to do that too much, otherwise, that can really start to hinder the dog's hunting. But, yeah, I was pleased with that. Right, I'm going to put this retrieve out again without him seeing. And I'm rolling it along the ground so it leaves as much ground scent as possible. Now, sit because I don't want to come that side of it, because otherwise he'll just hunt straight into the wind. I'm going to drop that way a little bit. Charlie, sit. Good lad, good lad, good lad. 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 You should start to come onto that wind now, you see? Good boy. Good boy. So if I went upwind of that straight away, he'd just run straight to it and I wouldn't get him to learn to hunt properly. So I want to leave the ground scent. If I can touch the ground scent on the way up to it without him hitting the air scent, then that's my perfect scenario. So I'm going to put this slightly that way this time so I can hunt here and he won't be straight into the wind. Now, I don't know if that's going to be on camera or not, but we're going to hunt in front of the camera first. Sit, Charlie. Char Charlie, sit. Sit. I'm just about to sit now when I um, bend over, which is good. So I've just rubbed some leaf litter on a dummy. And chuck that down, sit. I actually have got a little retrieve here as well. Ready? Good luck. Good luck, good luck. That was a bit bad timing really there, because I asked him to sit in a stick pile, which isn't, Great, but he actually did it really well. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. This dummy's a lot smaller. Good lad. Just gonna have to work hard to find that. It's right up against the log. Good boy, well done. Good boy, Charlie. Here. So this is just a tiny bit of rabbit skin around a tiny bit of cut up sock. Don't know if you can see that. Looks like a rabbit's foot. It's a, just a tiny bit of rabbit skin. Now, because that was tight, sit, Charlie, sit. Because that was tight up against that log and it's so small, it had to really work for that. Now, I've still got that dummy over there, so we're gonna try and pick that now, Charlie, aren't we? Sit, sit, sit. So a bit of leaf litter always casting him onto that, that gets him going. Sit. Go on. Good lad, good lad. Where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Good lad. Good lad. Good boy. So just as I pipped him there, he was just on the retrieve, so that's why he picked that there. So I'm going to go back downwind of the camera, just so that we can come back towards you guys again. gonna roll this to a high me like that. that. As long as he doesn't see me do it, I'm good, you see. Sit. Now remember our wind's coming this way. So if the retrieve's here and I come here, he won't send it until he comes this side of the retrieve. Sit. Ah, 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 ah. Here, Charlie, Charlie. Sit. 
that wasn't so good, but there you go. Starting again. That's here, I'm gonna pick it up. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Whiz, 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 Good boy, he didn't see me do that. <laughs> well done, Charlie, good boy. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Might we'll try one more stop for the camera and that'll do you for today. And throw slightly upwind where we are so that he doesn't just pull straight onto that. Good boy, sit, sit. Sit. Go on. Good boy, sit. Good boy, ready? Good boy, well done. Good boy, Charlie. Good boy, well done. Good lad. Good lad. So, I've just started doing that stop now here and there. As I said, I don't like to do it too much because otherwise it can start and inhibit the dog's hunting. If it thinks you're going to constantly stop it, they stop hunting so well. So I'm just starting to interject it here or there. Isn't that right, Charlie? But um, yeah, as the conditions get better towards autumn, you should start to hunt harder and better. He's still dropping around the back of me fairly, fairly often, but I don't want to make a big deal out of that because I know once we start hunting properly, he'll start to stay in front of me and stop dropping around the back of me. Uh, as long as I do my best to avoid it, but if it happens, I just let it carry on. Right guys, so here we are. So we're gonna try and do um, a few back retrieves and a few lefts and rights. I've actually done this for a little while with him now, maybe the past week. Um, so actually this is a slight uh, step backwards, but I wanted to be able to show you um, what he's like doing those and a few little things that go with it. Charlie, Charlie. So we've got a little training lead on, first of all. That's really, really important. I've actually gone up to a slightly bigger dummy now. I'm using 150 gram, one of my 150 gram full natural rabbit skin dummies just felt um, I wanted to give him something slightly bigger to hold and he seems fairly okay with it. Um, I use some of the other ones for different things but for this I'm now just about going up to the 150 gram weight. So we're going to start off by doing a very basic back retrieve. So we've got the dog sat up, he's going to be facing me and we're going to throw the retrieve over his head. I'm going to take a little step to the right and using my right hand I'm going to get him to turn to my right, his left to go back. Rep. Good boy. Good boy, Charlie. There's me saying he doesn't faff, but there we go. Good boy. Come on. Good lad. Good lad. So we're going to do the same again. I'm going to turn him around. Little heel. Sit. I'm going to check the retrieve down behind him. A little stop whistle, and then I'm going to push him back with my right hand. Little step. I'm just slightly to the right. See? At, at sit. I'm slightly to the right of him. That will help him go the right way. He's already anticipating what I'm going to do. So stop whistle, then I'm going to push him back. 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 There we go. Good boy, Charlie. Come on, stop faffing. Good boy. Right, so we're going to do the same on the other side now. Good boy. And you come. I'm going to put the retrieve behind him. Now I'm going to take a step to the left. He's just slightly anticipating that, so I'm just going to be a little bit tough with the lead, make sure he doesn't go until I'm ready. Little step to my left, his right. Stop whistle, and then I'm going to push him back. Watch, he'll turn that way. Back. Back. So he already can identify the difference between my left and my right hand. He can actually do a much harder combination than this, but I'm just showing you. He's probably thinking, what the, what the hell am I doing at the moment? This is a bit, a little bit easy. Good boy. So we're going to sit him up. Sit. So I'll do one on each side quite quickly. Back. 
Good boy, that's better. So we're going to turn him. We're using this as a bit of a carrot as well to get him to keep up with me. Still sit. I'm going to put this behind him. A little step to my left this time. Charlie, back, back on the other side. Good boy. Okay, Charlie, Charlie. So this time I'm going to do a back retrieve, but I'm going to do what I call recall sit. And that's where I'm going to move the dog off the spot before I send him. I'll do it quite quickly. Sit. Leave that. Good lad. Wait, use my right hand. He turns to my right to go back. Come on, Charlie. Do the same on the other side. Good boy, well done. Same again, turn him round. Good boy. Charlie, sit. Sit. We're not quite getting that straight yet, but we will get there. Ah, ah. See, that's why you hold the lead. I don't want him thinking that the stop whistle means go. It doesn't, but he's associating it with go. This lead stops him from going. Really important. Otherwise, you have to rub tackle him, which is totally unnecessary. That's it. Huh? Back. Good boy. Good lad. Fantastic. Right. I'm going to do a couple of lefts and rights now. So I literally just do. I'm introducing new things all the time, but I literally do two or three of each, and that's it, really. I'm doing slightly more to show you. So I'm going to sit him up now. Sit. I'm going to throw one out to the right. I'm going to bounce it off the wall there. That's good. Now it's a little bit far back, so I'm going to move him. Charlie, Charlie. Drop my hand to my hip, push. Okay, so on left and right, so I talk about this a lot with my clients. I'll explain what I mean in a sec. So I'll sit him up. Charlie, it's so hot tonight, even though the sun's gone in. So I'm going to bounce it off the wall. We always do a high stop. We drop our hand to our hip and then we push out as if we're pushing our hand along a table. So he's already anticipating. Stop whistle first and then I push out. Good boy. Some people will say get on or get out when they do that. For me, I don't actually have a verbal, I only have a verbal for back. So I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Charlie, come on, sit. <laughs> uh, I confused you then, didn't I? It's because I'm trying to talk. I don't normally talk when I'm doing this. So we just do it fluidly, but I'm doing it disjointed and that's throwing him. Good boy, good boy. Up, oh, good lad. So, do the same again. Couple on each side, that's all I do. Sit, throw the dummy out to the left. I want 90 degrees though, so if it lands back, I move the dog. Okay, I don't want, I always want him to learn to turn 90 degrees and run in a straight line. 90 degrees, run in a straight line. On a bat retrieve, always 180. If the dummy lands awkwardly, I either move it or move the dog. So the dog gets used to that. Right, here we go, left hand. Brilliant. Lovely. Fantastic. Well done, Charlie. Well done. Good boy. So in our next video, we'll actually put together a back with a left and a back with a right. But today I just thought I'd show you that basics there. And um, I'll try not to make it too long or too complicated, Charlie. But we'll be making that a little bit more complicated next time. Good boy. Well done. Good boy. Right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this latest episode of Charlie's vlog. Don't forget to subscribe and like, it really does help my channel. I'm doing my best to make you really good content. Anyway, happy training guys, catch you very soon.